Dear friends, since writing my last letter to you, a great change has come over my position. I have now been at the front more than six weeks and have experienced the full and terrible meaning of war. With my comrades, I have been in the danger zone and under fire all the time, sharing the rigours and perils of war. We landed under shrapnel fire on the 12th of May and, after a day in reserve, proceeded to the trenches. I accompanied the men and have been sleeping in a dugout near my regiment all the time. We draw rations, all alike, and bivouac, sleeping on our blankets on the ground. It has been my privilege to live and work among our heroic soldiers and to help some of them in their time of suffering, as well as to perform the last rites for the dead. The sights I have witnessed during this time of fierce strife, I shall never forget. And the burials under fire and in darkness make an impression which I cannot describe. Our services on Sundays, with the communion following, have been very precious. Imagine a deep gully with men lined along the ground on either side, following the service reverently, while the voice of the chaplain is interrupted by the cracking and whizzing of bullets or the boom of artillery. Imagine further the men kneeling around the communion table made of two Red Cross boxes from the dressing station, while the little silver platter with bread and the little silver cup with wine are passed round by the chaplain and eagerly received by our Christian lads. In conclusion, I have ascertained to the best of my ability that all our young men from St Andrews are well, except those to whose relatives I have written. And for those dear ones, my heart bleeds still. But from the ground their blossoms red, life that shall endless be. Their death was most heroic and more in value than any other life or death could be. I am glad to hear of the good work at St Andrews and assure you that my thoughts and prayers are ever with you till we meet again. From Gallipoli, sincerely, your pastor, Ernest N. Merrington, chaplain to the forces.